Look at my balls. These are my balls. Shiny fiberglass balls. These are the first balls to learn how to make a ball out of fiberglass. And this is a mold for making a ball out of fiberglass. See, that's the part that was made in the mold. This is a smaller mold, sort of the same idea. I made this mold better. And this ball was made in that little mold. It fits perfectly. So now I've got a shiny little ball. I could make a bigger mold and that would let me make bigger balls. The molds are really shiny. And that's a bigger ball made from the bigger mold. What else can I make? I suppose I could take one of those little balls and make a buck like this. Why would I make a buck like that? Well, a buck is used to make a mold, so there must be another mold somewhere. There's a mold that looks like that buck. This mold looks like that buck. And what would you do with a mold like that? Well, I guess you'd make a part like this. This holds a tweeter. These are going to be housings for speakers because corners, right angle corners in housings are the worst. And here's the corresponding mold for the front part of the other ball, which will hold a bigger speaker. And this is the buck that was used to make that mold. And this is a part that came out of that mold. It's real shiny. And so what does all this stuff look like when you put it together? It looks like a round housing for a speaker. It's very round and very shiny. And it has no interior corners, unless you call all of the interior one big corner. And here's how the little one goes together. And it too is very round and very shiny. And would look absolutely beautiful in some rich guy's living room. Just look how shiny my balls are. I have big shiny fiberglass balls. I made them myself. Why would I make these? I suppose I did learn how to make molds for fiberglass. So today I made balls. Tomorrow I might make a boat. 